hello everyone and welcome to my channel today i'm going to be walking you through how i painted this purple pug so the first thing i'm doing is just outlining the pug's features with my darkest purple paint that i'm going to be using this is just kind of a rough outline it doesn't have to be perfect after all you can paint over it at the end of the day when drawing a dog you really have to consider the breed in particular and what features are best highlighted in this breed for example with the pug the face and the wrinkles on the face are going to be the most important thing to highlight followed by the eyes you'll see that for these darker areas like the eyes and the ears i'm actually going to start with my darkest uh, deepest purple and then i'm going to slowly lighten up that area by adding white since this is a monochromatic painting it's really easy to just take that darkest deepest purple add a little bit of white to it you'll get a slightly lighter dark purple and you can just kind of layer up from there going from darkest to lightest this technique will help you accomplish proper shading here you can see that i'm just applying a pure white to the ears to highlight where that light is shining. Using white as a highlight is just as important in a monochromatic piece as it is for a piece with a whole bunch of different colors. The details of the eyes are very important. The eye shape and placement is what distinguishes one dog breed from another dog breed and what distinguishes one individual dog from another individual dog no matter what the breed is the dog kind of bug-eyed is it a little cross-eyed uh, does one eye kind of float to the left a little bit it all matters when it comes to the detail of the dog in general and if the overall shading is a little too light it can kind of make the dog look like it has cataracts when it doesn't again you can see where i'm going in with that darker purple and you can see where i'm just gradually adding lighter layer after lighter layer after lighter layer until i get back to that white highlight this provides shading for the dog's face and nose as well as some depth creating a piece with a monochromatic palette is an excellent way for beginner artists to practice just the basics of art it's a great practice in recognizing light, medium, and dark shades, and how that influences your painting even more so than the color. It demonstrates that shading is even more important than the actual colors you're using. So here you're gonna see me do the opposite of what I was doing before. Because that kind of upper nose forehead area is much lighter than the ears and the mouth, I'm gonna actually start out with a lighter purple, my lightest purple actually, and then gradually increase that shade of purple, layering over until I get what I want, leaving the highlighted white area as the very last step. As I start to paint around the wrinkles of his forehead, you'll notice that I'm putting my darker purples closest to the wrinkle lines. From there, I'm actually layering lighter shades of purple. And in the middle is gonna be a lighter shade of purple and more of a highlight. That's gonna help create an impression of depth. The wrinkles being farther away and the in-between areas being closer. The darker areas showing what is farther away versus the lighter areas being what's closer to the viewer of the painting. Here, I'm just putting on my last bit of highlights onto the face to make sure that I've got that full spectrum of the monochromatic palette. Probably 90 to 95% of my time and effort 
in all of my dog paintings goes into getting the face just right. The body, especially on a short haired dog like the pug, is pretty easy to recreate with simple brush strokes, making sure that you're getting those natural wrinkles in the neck, under the chin. You can't forget to include the little hairs and whiskers coming out of the face. It really does add a lot to the detail. For this, I'm just using my thinnest round brush. And that completes this pug painting. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. If you're interested in seeing more, make sure to subscribe and like. I plan on putting out new videos about art and art business. Thanks for watching.